Thanks for your support as a channel member, Troy Newcomb. Hello folks and welcome back to another Football Manager 2020 video from the recent FM20 capture event. You know the drill by now, so I will try to be brief. Please remember, this is all pre-release footage from the game. It's an alpha version of the game, subject to change before the beta, blah, 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 blah. I don't know when the beta's coming out. People keep asking me. I don't know when it's out. And if you are looking to pre-order your own copy of the game, there is a link to do that. Super cheap down in the description below. That might be the quickest I've ever done it. Back to past Kev. Boys and girls, I've been promising it for some time. I think today's the day we're going to spank somebody 6-0. Pay attention. Mo Iser is back from international duty, as is Baluta. We're playing against Rochdale at the Western Home Stadium, aka London Road. Silly sponsors. Um, so we're going with Pim in goal, a back four of Butler, Knight, Kent and Thompson. Baluta at the base of the midfield. Boyd and Woodyard ahead of him. Madison behind Tony and Isa up front. Submit the team. I feel a big score coming on. We're going we're gonna to absolutely spank Rochdale. Um, I haven't even looked to see where they are in the league. I'm doing this purely based on the fact that in my mind, if you say Rochdale to me, I think, ain't they in League 2? So I think we probably... Should I mean why are we still ignoring the media? Why are the media still on our backs? We're we're doing all right. We're meeting expectations. I still didn't see where Rochdale are in the league. Let's get the league table up here the way we normally do. Rochdale are just below us in the league. This isn't necessarily going to be the spanking that was advertised. We will see how this turns out. But hopefully we. I mean I just want I want some some clinical finishing in front of goal. I, I don't want to say it, I just want a good performance because most of our performances have been pretty good. What I want is for us to do the good performance but also score the goals that go with it. We've been creating so many chances but just not finishing enough of them off. And that needs to change. I feel like it's going to change today. Knight plays it forward to Kent and then Baluta to Woodyard out to Thompson. See, this is already a move where half the team have touched the ball. Woodyard picks it up again. Back to Thompson, who drifts past two players, plays it out to Butler, who is in behind. He squares it to Tony, who hits the post. And then Boyd just hits it over. This is what I mean. That was such a lovely move. That move. Seven, eight of our players were involved in that move. And then it's such a simple chance at the end. And it's missed. And that is the story of the season so far. Awesome build-up play. Very little in the way of end product. Now Rochdale looked to hit the ball over the top, flick it on. Luckily, Knight is there to clean up the mess. Isa now in behind, plays it into Tony, who's got a little bit of space. Tony hits the post again. And Isa, at the second time of asking, does manage to tuck away the rebound. But... That post, I have lost count of the amount of times so far in this save that we have hit the post. It is ridiculous. Um, but Isa did really well to bring that down, play Tony in, um, and then has one shot that's straight at the goalkeeper, but does manage to clean up his own mess afterwards. So it's 1-0 to Posh on the half-hour mark. That pushes us up to fifth in the league. Only two points off top of the table Bristol Rovers at the moment. So still doing all right when it comes, when it, as far as the uh, club vision stuff is concerned. And um, we're supposed to be finishing in the top half of the table this season. The media have predicted a sixth place finish, I think. So for us to be pushing into the playoffs this early is good stuff. Ivan Tony with a lovely little finish, nice little counter attack, fifth goal of the season. This this is more like what I was looking for. This is, yeah, I'm feeling confident for the first time really in this save. I think I'm finding my feet in FM20 and getting the feel of this team. And we are starting to uh, we're starting to look like quite a good side. Madison played it into Tony. It's a nice little finish. Two 0 up as we approach half time. A third here would be lovely and would it would put this game to bed. Um, but it is not to be. We go in two 0 up at half time. But the fact we've got Isa and Tony both on the score sheet that's important because that like like I keep saying that's the that's the one area we've been lacking so far this season so for us to start to make some moves toward righting that wrong that's uh that's a positive thing we've got a lot of players with a little bit of complacency going on though I don't know if I like that um let's throw some praise out there I praise your complacency and that's fired them all up
managerial genius. Raquel Pike has just come on for Rochdale, veteran of non-lethal legend years gone by. Good to see he's still knocking around at this kind of level because, you know, non-lethal legend, it is a coming. And uh, I would, it, was all, it would always be a pleasure to have Raquel Pike to be part of it. Right, I'm going to bring Mark Beavers on. He had a really good game in that last match. Bring him on for Woodyard and just shuffle everybody else forward. Um, so Kent can be our covering defender. Beavers can play their knight in behind. Baluta, who can go a little bit further forward to play alongside George Boyd. Um, and then I'm also going to bring Niall Mason on in the Boyd role and just switch up the midfield. The thing when we're playing with this tactic, because we're playing high pressing, not a lot of men in midfield, those two midfield players, they're doing a lot of running and they get tired, bless their cotton socks. So we need to rest them up every now and again. Madison can come off for Burrows as part of my ongoing quest to develop Harrison Burrows. I am determined to see something happen on that development centre um, before I get sent home away from these offices, never to be seen again. But uh, I haven't seen anything on there yet. But that, that's probably the most comfortable victory we've had so far this season. Puts us up to fourth place in the league. Baluta's has picked up an injury. It's only for a couple of days. I'm just going to quickly check out the dev centre. Um, we've got a note that 42-year-old player coach Mark Tyler is past his peak. I mean, that's I couldn't have done that without the help of the development centre. Thank you for letting me know that 42-year-old might not be as good as he was 20 years ago. Um, but other than that, still no sign of Harrison Burroughs appearing. So we push on towards another match. Just one change for this Tranmere game. Reed comes in for Baluta, who did pick up that knock in the last game. Um, but other than that, that is the team that played so well in that last game. Away from home against Tranmere, we need to keep this run of form going. If everything goes our way today, we could actually find ourselves sat in an automatic promotion position, um, which would be a lovely position to be in. But apparently the media are still on our backs. I'll continue to immediate, to assertively say, the media have been on your backs. You're fourth in the league. This this will never do. Um, we're supposed to finish mid-table. I don't understand what the media's issue. I just don't think they like me. Too handsome for them. That's almost certainly the issue. Right, Thompson, coming down the right-hand side, ends up finding Madison via Woodyard. Boyd's got a little bit of space. Isa back to Boyd again, slots it through to Tony Butler now. I mean, that's just a lovely goal. We are, we're starting to click. I haven't checked the dynamics page for a little while. I think I do need to go and check it out after this game. I would suggest if I know anything about Football Manager, and I'd like to think I know a little bit, these last two games, this is starting to look like a team that's starting to click on the dynamics page because dynamics does have that much of an impact. And I think that's why we were struggling so much early on. But as it stands, if everything finishes, if everything finishes as it is now, when I started that sentence the first time, we were we were second. We're down to third now because Gillingham have, I guess, gone ahead in their game. But still, we're playing well. This is good. Um, we approach half time. We have a free kick. Madison whips it in towards Knight, and it's just over from Knight. Um, but we uh, we're creating a lot. We've had 63% of the possession in this first half. This is what I mean about the fact we are playing some good football. And if anything, still not being as clear and clear as we should be. A team that's had 60% possession in the first half should be better than one nil up. But I'm not going to moan as long as we're winning football matches. We can we can get the big high scoring games. They can come later when we really start to click. For now, the priority is league position winning football matches that is a bit of a screamer from the edge of the area from the Tranmere midfield player but it does uh, it flies only just over the crossbar um, and Thompson now plays it forward for Isa can't he's not really alert to that and it's left us in a little bit of trouble but we recover through Woodyard in the midfield Tony now chasing down um, and Kent wins the ball back in midfield Boyd plays it back tonight we're doing a lot of this long ball over the top I mean it works we've got two quick strong strikers but I haven't asked them to do this I don't know why I mean it, they've kind of decided for themselves to start playing the ball over the top a lot which I might need to have just a little bit of a nose around on the tactics screen and work out why we seem to be defaulting to that at the moment. Kent, two bites of the cherry, neither of them successful. How hard is it to bite a cherry, Frankie Kent? For goodness sake, they're tiny and they don't move. Um, an hour in, still 1-0. And I do feel like there is a Tranmere goal coming because 
I, I, you know, I've been playing football manager for a long time. I know the shape of a football manager game, and it does feel like we're missing so many chances that they're going to score because that just it's it's how it works. Madison now playing Thompson in, who's getting so much space down his left hand side today. Um, Tramir playing with wide players, but just leaving huge spaces for our fullbacks to push on and play in, which. I'm not going to argue with because it, it fits into our tactic perfectly. Um, but there's an example of just how narrow our midfield can get um, because they just knock the ball over the top of our entire midfield in one go. And they've switched the play back again to this side and they are causing us problems at the moment. They've hit the crossbar. And this is what I mean. The goal is coming. I think now is a good time to probably freshen things up a little bit. Um, Isa isn't playing very well. We're going to bring Tazdemir on for Isa today. Uh, Biamu, the Biamu experiment isn't really working. I don't think it was a Barry Fry sign in I wouldn't have brought him in I just wanted to get the season started quickly so that I could show you as many matches and as many episodes as I could in the time that I had available to record stuff I think in a in another world when I play with Posh again which I will I think it's fairly safe to say I'm not going to be signing Maxim Biamu um, George Boyd he can come off Mason can come on in midfield um, and we are going to give a little bit of... See, 1-0 is a difficult scoreline when it comes to touchline shouts because I never know what the right one to do is because they always go wrong. Um, so I'm, I've hovered over shouts, but I've not actually done one and instead gone back to the bench. I'll make another substitution in lieu of a shout. Um, Reed needs to stay on, really. I'm going to do my usual Madison off, Burrows on. The, uh, the ongoing progression of Harrison Burrows. I've never given a youth player so much game time. I'm desperate to see the development centre show me something. I, I keep hoping for it and then remembering that even at the end of this little series of, of, of episodes, of matches, we're probably only going to be into September. I've given the game three months to try and develop a youth player, which probably isn't that realistic, but trying to sort of force test the new development centre in a system that isn't really realistic. There's our first example of the fancy new goal kicks with both our centre backs dropping back alongside the goalkeeper. Um, you can adjust all that stuff um, within game, but it works really nicely with this Gagan pressing system that we're using to have that. And we've won a penalty. Now, Ivan Tony has missed several penalties so far this season. If he misses this one, he will never again take a penalty for Peterborough United Football Club. It is Tony stepping up to take, and he does score because he wants the opportunity to continue taking penalties clearly a sixth goal of the season now for Tony who I've moaned about it's not being very clinical but what is this our eighth game and he's on six goals already so for a player who's frustrating me for not being clinical he's uh, he's doing all right for uh, when it comes to goals per game you can't really argue and we've picked up another 2-0 victory and we are as I said before starting to look like a good team let's just check out this dynamics page well, hasn't that made me look like a silly goose? We're still only average on team cohesion, which means we've got better, but I have absolutely no idea why. Not going to argue with that. Just letting you know how it is. Right, folks, as it stands right now, I've got five more games of footage left. So there's probably going to be a video that just has one game in, or maybe... A video that has three matches in. Looking at the length of this one, I probably could have made this a three-match video, maybe. But we're looking at one more video tomorrow, a final one on Wednesday. And then... Hello, is that Sports Interactive? I'm ready for the beta then, please. And that's not me saying the beta is out on Thursday. That's saying it would be ideal for me if the beta came out on Thursday. Because otherwise, we're just going to be sitting and waiting. So if the channel goes quiet for a few days... Please don't unsubscribe. Um, if you've enjoyed that, though, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager videos. Maybe. Depends what happens. And thank you very much for watching.